Hey God, this guys, this is CK back again. Hope this camera works out. You know, it's been acting fussy the past couple days. This is the last video of the day. Supposed to be. I'm on a little run right here. We got a little 15 piece going right here. Just gonna keep on rolling out with it. We got our music going. Let's go ahead and cut this up. Welcome to Daniel Sarm, everyone. This is uh, CK. Close this thing here. Yeah, you know, we're up late rolling as we always do, so we do it. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that earlier. That uh, little piece earlier I did. <laughs> funny uh, crapper talk guy. What a funny piece. Hope you enjoyed the uh, all seven set challenge end up getting. That was sweet. Super stoked about that. That was really exciting for me personally. Uh, this is normally the video of the day where we do the uh, kind of cover what went on in the day kind of thing. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, depends on how long this run goes out. We're 15 right now. But uh, if not, I have to bust it up. I'll do another one. It's okay. But, uh, thanks for joining, guys. Thanks for viewing. I've uh, been answering a lot of questions online. Thank you. I love it. Um, you just have to bear with me on the comments. Uh, so I'm pumping out, you know, I don't know, two to four videos a day. Then it's, uh, you know, and casinos. And it's difficult to, uh, you know, to get to everyone. I try to answer the comments sometimes. My uh, equipment doesn't work to let me uh, answer right back. So just bear with me. I'll get with you. If you haven't subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe. Get ready. Before I'm going to go at it again here. See where this goes. This is a new dice set I'm using. So I don't really know how long it'll go. But we're going to come out roll right here. camera too so you can okay yeah and should be able to see these once I show them uh, like I said it's a new set so and I'm doing some flipping and flopping with it so I gotta They're just seeing the real action going right here, so let's see. Oh, there we go. Snakes. Yeah, it's that crapper talk, dude. It's pretty interesting. I know the video I was wanting to pull out, but I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'm not really trying to get anyone upset, but you already know the station channel is a channel for uh, debunking people that say that, uh, let's go check out the purpose. I laid out right there how I feel about it, so, you know. Late, I'm, you know, working this dice set, it's new one, so. I remember there it is. Stick jumper right there. Nine. Try to show them.
I do want to show something about my grip here. Uh, I'm going to try to combine this all in one. Potentially here. Let's see. I want to just show everyone. So I was going to do like a little, a little grip lesson on my last uh, thing of the day. But, you know, when you see me line up like this, what I'm actually doing, what you actually see is, you actually see this knuckle. You actually see this knuckle. The middle, first knuckle of my middle finger is actually on the table. That's what you're actually seeing right there. And launch it. I just wanted to point that out to everyone. Before. That's what I'm doing. In case if you see it, my fingers aren't, I don't know how it comes off on your TV or, or uh, computer, what have you, but my fingers are not flat. That middle finger, you know, it's on that knuckle right there. Just wanted to point that out in case you guys are really watching and you're using that uh, premier grip I was telling you about, the three fingers. You got to be really tight. Right there, right up on there. So if I pull my finger like that, you'll see how that pops out. It sticks out right there, and that's what I'm laying on. Right there. Hands tight. We talked about that before. Really tight grip. Short. Got away with it. Six. I want to answer viewers' uh, question. In case I don't get to in the comments uh, tonight, it's uh, 3.39 in the morning right now, guys. That's uh, six. Okay. Uh, they were asking, uh, the viewer was asking, uh, how far do I like to uh, hit the wall? Like with each dice set, is it different? You know, uh, it is a little bit different. What really matters is, is uh, the all sevens dice set. I personally like to hit the uh, wall anywhere from two to four inches out every time that's what I like I don't like to you know give those dice a chance to open up I like to however I set them I like them to stay at that set while they're going through the air land okay this is the wall here or the walls right here and we want them to land anywhere from two to four inches because they'll hit boom crash the wall then they'll come off now typically you want them to crash to come back like that you want them to Hit the felt, go left, hit the felt, go right. You want them to hit, boom, come back. Can't always have it like that, but that, that is the preferred shot for me personally. So to answer your question, as um, long as it's not the all seven set, the all sevens, I like to take like take all the way probably two, probably two inches away from the wall. Probably two inches away from the wall because it's really important. The key with that all seven set is keeping those dice tight. Tight flying all the way to the wall. Boom. Hits the wall. They come off. They roll away from the seven. Go check out my uh, all seven set uh, theory if you haven't checked that out. <clears throat> and then you'll you'll see how I feel about that. All seven set there. Always want to make sure those fingers are ultra tight. Ultra tight. We're just throwing away. It doesn't really matter. I mean, this handset seems like it's dice set. Seems like it's a pretty decent dice set, you know, for me. Yeah, so that guy earlier, that was pretty funny. A uh, crapper talk. I had to put that out there. As, you know, he's on there saying dice control doesn't work and all this. It's really, you know, DI, dice influencing. It's not dice control. It's really dice influencing because you are influencing the dice. I don't care what anyone says. So I want to keep putting out these videos, keep putting them out, putting them out, putting them out. That was hands tight right there. And if you noticed, hopefully my viewers watching this one, they'll get a chance to see this one. That's a four again. Those stay tight up to the wall. 
the glow and bam. See, that's that's how I personally uh, like my rolls to go. See how we're looking on this camera. It's holding out. It's a little long, guys, and I apologize, but try to get it all rocked in here. All locked in here. Locked out together. Yeah, that guy was funny, though. I was enjoying that. That was, that was funny. I mean, I might do that a little bit more, like that kind of thing, a little bit. Here and there, just as I'm scaring the internet, kind of calling people out. That's not really my thing, so I really just not into that. But uh, we got to put them on blast, though. You know, people said that, uh, you know, DI doesn't work. We won't be out on that one. Only got a couple in, but that wasn't the point. I'll just test that dice it out later on. I really want to uh, get a chance to talk to you in this video about some things that videos earlier. Hope you had a chance to see those. But, uh, on this count, you can see these numbers. We're going to back this uh, cam up so you can check these numbers out. Let's see what we got. This new dice set ain't no big deal. We're just going to check it out a little bit. Right here, count it off. Little 22 piece, that's all. Little 22 piece, four or five, two sixes hit on that. I'm not going to give up that dice set, but it's interesting. Uh, one of my viewers is asking what I use for extreme numbers. I don't really bet extreme numbers, but it seemed like it was hitting uh, extremes pretty hard on that one. Seven extreme, five sixes, two eights, three fives, four fours. Oh, hold on a second. I didn't count my uh, seven out yet. Whoops. Four, seven. Twenty, twenty-three. Okay, so twenty-three. Little twenty-three. I'm well pleased with the twenty-three. Uh, I'm really pleased with that. It's a new dice set. You know, if I can find a dice set that'll throw that, uh, you know, anywhere from solidly thirteen. Anywhere from 13, 14, or 15 up to 20, you know, 23 range right there. That's that's awesome. But, you know, I want to say thanks for uh, visiting, you know, the site. If you're new, definitely uh, hit the subscribe because you're going to want to come back and, you know, see what we're doing here. We've got a lot of information going. Uh, this is our last video of the day. The last video of the day is really the most important in my opinion because that's the one where I actually go over uh, you know some things and give you little details like that grip I was showing you what, what I'm actually doing so when I set these actually we're going to just do a hardwood set so it's easy we got the hardwood set right here and you know that this is my premier grip how I line it up I, you know, this is my, my pre the grip I use the premier like that, hands are ultra tight. You can see that hands are ultra tight. Fingers should be lined up across. You normally want them to be even. Mine get a little, I don't know, this first finger gets a little funky sometimes, but you know, it still works out. So that's what you want though, and you want these dice. You can see that. There's no space between them. That's how you want them. You want no space between them, like that. Actual dice, they're tight together. And when I put them down, as I was saying, you can see this. I think you can. See, they're still tight. They're still tight together. See, and I'm kind of knocking it right there. Yeah, I don't suggest it, but I'm just so I can feel it. And I'm on that knuckle. So my hands aren't flat. See, if my hands are flat, they'd be like that, but they're not flat. Let me re grip it. See someone that knuckle right there. I'll try to show you. See if see it sticks out. This knuckle will stick out. This is the knuckle where I sit on. I know I'm harping and harping them, but this is what I do on this last one of the day. For all you uh everyone out there that's listening, paying attention, appreciate that. So there we are, we're on that knuckle. The hands are real tight. We're on that knuckle. Right there. 
launch. Let's see what we got. That was a hard way set. And it stayed on axis for us. Three, five. So that's how I do my grip, guys. So I hope I was able to answer a couple questions. I'm going to get in here and uh, get me something to eat. Shut this down, do a little editing, and uh, throw this up. I hope you guys appreciate it. It's a little bit long, but um, 15 minutes is definitely long for me. But uh, like I said, I like this one to be shorter, but I had a little run out. I wanted to take the time to uh, talk to you about things and uh, really nail down that grip. But this grip, again, one more time. Keep those hands tight. Two points. Hands tight. That's one. Remember, this is an important one. This is the lessons you want right here. Late at night. Hands tight. Hands tight. And I mean like your fan like when I drop these dice, this is what I mean. Like it's tight. See how it's like that? They're tight. It's my hands like locked. Muscle memory. It's locked. It's locked. That's what I hope you can see that. I hope you can see how that is. My hand is like literally like locked. It's like locked. So see when I'm picking up the dice and boom, I got the dice and I let go. And I'll get this in another video because I'm working on some slow motion action stuff like that. I, you know, not the best at, at editing, but uh, when the dice leaves the hand, it like literally just, just comes out. Your hand, you'll see how the hand stays like that on release. It's hard to catch that. In these videos right now I'll see if I can maybe show you what I'm talking about one time so that you see how I'm talking about I'm gonna show you the whole way how I do it this here bring them over I got it I'm tight now it's tight now actually pay attention I'm releasing this pinky but notice I'm on that middle I'm on this middle I'm actually breaking it down to you this is a real deal right here real talk right here on that middle release that pinky now I'm ready the hands tight let's we'll see if we can show where the hand the release see and it just stays like that that's how you really want it guys that's how you really want it and uh remember that five we just threw I'm gonna put some dice up real quick Of course, you know me, you've heard my videos before, Cadillac Point. So, with that little hard way set that I hate, which I recommend for beginners personally, till you develop at least a consistent setup where you're grabbing the dice, you know, and you're familiar with the throw. You know what I mean? You, you get your throw down. You know what I mean? I would definitely, that's personally what I advise, but uh, this is going super long. Thanks for viewing, guys. We did 23. There's nothing wrong with the 23. Um, I'll run these all day long. And this is what I'll throw in the casino right here. You know, I'm not sure about this dice set yet. We're just uh, testing it out. So far, I like it. You know what I mean? Anytime I can throw 20, 23, 18s, especially like the low 20s. I, I particularly myself, I really like throwing like 20, 23, 24 range. That, that's a real comfortable range because once you go to the casino, uh, you got to remember with adrenaline and things like that, your average might drop down a little bit. You know, it's just it's just a performance thing, just like an athlete. You know, this is a athletic endeavor that we're doing here. You know, this isn't uh, you know, I mean, it's definitely an athletic endeavor. You know, you you know, you are building muscle memory when you're throwing. You know, when you're ripping those dice, you are building muscle memory. Guys, this is CK. Hope I covered everything tonight. Got my two points in. Uh, gripping the dice tight. Keeping those hands tight. They got, you know, they got to be that muscle memory. Tight. Tighten the dice. And they just come out of the finger. They just come out of the hand. They just come out of the hand. Two. Other point. When you're using that premier grip, remember, if you're wondering what I've been doing, my fingers are not flat. They're not. They're not flat. My hand's not flat. 
I'm up on this knuckle right here. Remember that. I'm up on this knuckle because I won't give these details in any other videos of the day. So that's how we got like that. Knuckle flat. There we go. Tight to the wall. The way I like it. The CK. I put almost four. We're doing it. Thanks for watching. Keep on coming back. If you're not uh, a subscriber, please do. Punch a subscribe. Thumbs up. We'll catch you next time. This is CK from Dangerous Arm, and I'm out.